For the first time in 50 years, a truly civilian government is in charge of Myanmar. Well, more or less. The National League for Democracy has won the election, but its leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, is barred from becoming president. That's because of the constitution, adopted in 2008, when military dictators ran the country. They made sure their arch nemesis would never get to rule. How? The constitution says anyone whose children owe allegiance to a foreign power cannot become president. Suu Kyi's two sons are British. So what else did the military put in the constitution? Only 75% of seats in Parliament are for civilians. The other 25% are reserved for the military. Members of Parliament get to choose who becomes president. And because Aung San Suu Kyi's party has such a huge majority, it has the power to select the president. Again, this can't be Suu Kyi, but she said she intends to be the real power behind the president, even though some say that's unconstitutional. But can she and her government exercise real power? Not really. The army appoints the defense minister, the border affairs minister, and the home affairs minister, who controls the police. And the military is allowed to retake control of the country for national security reasons. But can't the new government change this constitution? Not without the military. Changes require more than 75% vote in parliament. And the military controls 25% of the seats. So why does all this matter? because this means Myanmar has yet to become a full democracy. For now, there can be no meaningful reforms unless the military is on board.